Hey guys, what's going on? Tox here. Uh, just got my, I guess the it's the Google Nexus 7s keyboard. So we're doing an unboxing video. So, sorry about that. Cool. Looks similar to the one my sister has for her MID Android tablet. It's a uh, lower end tablet, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I guess this is another carrying case. Uh, it's apparently fully compatible with the Nexus 7. So you got a magnet, dropper here, or I mean a connector. And cool, yeah, it looks very similar to the one my sister has. So I'm guessing, what is this? Alright, so we got USB input. Um, it's probably compatible with my computer or laptop if I wanted it to be. But I feel like I'm missing something, so there we go. This is a, try to back this up, NSI, our custom made cables are designed to care, guarantee high quality and reliability for long distance transmission. Compatible with PC, DVD, DLP video projector and HD TVs. Good to know. So let's open it up. This is great because this is what I've been going to order. This is a um, male micro USB to female USB. So, um, going over here, should probably have my tripod out. Try to grab the cable, plugs here. I don't know if you guys can even see this being a little stingy. Damn, that is tight. It's like not sliding into place. Come on, I mean, there you go. So there's the uh, cable design. Now I'm gonna fire up the Nexus 7. You can see, I mean, you guys seen this before in my previous video. If you not, have not seen my overview unboxing for uh, the Google Nexus 7, I list all the specs and such, and then I believe it slides right into, wow, that's, that's like a, there, a tight slide in. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Even came with a stylus. It's pretty nice. So it turns your Google Nexus into a full-on laptop. And guess what, guys? Uh, this keyboard here was only... It was like less... Oops. Messed up my password. It was less than 10 bucks. So there we are. We got the tablet all loaded up. So I'm going to hop in the Play Store. Actually, I'm going to log out. So... Um, Hope you guys can see this. We're gonna mount it up. Get it set up. Again, another tight fit. Keyboard lit up. So now, put it right there. And, hmm. This is a really tight fit again. Sorry. There we go. Now, my Google Nexus 7 has become a full miniature laptop. I'm actually gonna pull this up to my uh, Asus G75 7 inch screen, so 17 inch screen. So let's see how well it works. Again, Play Store. I'm guessing this is on, we're gonna hit search, and then let's type the E. Oh, and look, it does recognize the um, the uh, keyboard input, which is pretty cool. Again, it recognizes. So let's type in temple, and it does recognize. That is really cool. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, hopefully, I got all that on tape pretty well. And then, whenever you're done, let's hit the home key, exit out, hit the uh, sleep button. I know magnets are bad for a uh, screen, so hopefully that doesn't ever damage it, and it locks right into place there. So there you have it, guys. Um, oh, and there's also this. This will help it mount up to, so like it's a full-on laptop. So one more time. Sorry about that, guys. Open that up. Bam.
and keep that away. Actually, we could just slide it right there. So yeah, there it is. The Google Nexus 7 with uh, working keyboard. Upcoming next, I will be showing how to connect an Xbox 360 controller and make it compatible with the with the Google Nexus 7. So for the people who said there was no keyboard available for it, uh, you're wrong. There's a keyboard here clearly, and that's it, guys. Even came with the stylus. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for new uh, new upcoming Google Nexus 7 videos. And as always, uh, just subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you need a link and you have a tablet and you want to find a compatible um, keyboard, just leave a comment or message me and I'll give you all the information you need. See you guys.